25-year-old Max Greenfield is without his medication, which is why his family is extremely worried for his safety. Newswatch 12's Eliana Sheriff finds out where his family says he might be located. I spoke to Max's mom, who says she's overwhelmed and trying to do all she can to find her son. She says this is the longest he's ever left home before, and she says he normally wouldn't leave without his medication. She's been handing out flyers all over Smith River, the last place she thinks her son went. She says he mentioned wanting to go to the Lucky Seven Casino, which is about 10 miles from Brookings, where they live, for free slots on St. Patrick's Day. At 10 on Saturday night, when she went to bed, Max was still home. She realized something was off Sunday when she saw his medicine had sat untouched all day. He doesn't drive. He doesn't have a car. It's just completely out of character for him to just disappear and neither me nor my daughter hear from him. The best we've heard is that he was down at the casino and he had messaged a friend of his and he was going to walk over and see her and he never showed up. Max's mom says the casino is reviewing video surveillance from Saturday night to confirm if Max was even there. She says she files a, a missing persons report Tuesday evening. Now, Max is described as six feet tall with green eyes and brown hair. He has a tattoo of a key on his right arm. If you have any information about where Max could be, call the Curry County Sheriff's Office. On Saturday, March 17th, 2018, 25-year-old Max Greenfield headed out to the Lucky 7 Casino in Smith River, California. Andrea Greenfield, who is Max's mother, was concerned for her son when he failed to return home and his daily medication was still untouched. Her concerns quickly turned into fear when investigators informed her that her son was seen on surveillance at the Lucky 7 Casino with an older man who was seen leading Max out of the parking lot of the casino and out of view of surveillance cameras and into the dark. Who is the man that Max is seen with on surveillance? Why did they both walk into the dark of night with only the man returning? Did this man have anything to do with his disappearance? Or did Max go somewhere else? Is Max in danger? Let's learn about the night Max went missing together and help bring him home to his family. Welcome to Missing Persons, Episode 3. I'm your host, Bill Melder. Max Greenfield was last seen on Saturday, March 17, 2018, by his mother, Andrea Greenfield. On Tuesday, March 20th, Andrea Greenfield reported her son missing. She said she knew something was wrong when Max's medication was still at home and untouched. Max, who is from Brookings, Oregon, was last spotted on surveillance video outside of the Lucky 7 Casino in California. Security camera footage from the casino shows Max arriving about 1 a.m. in the morning of Sunday, March 18th. Max immediately exited the casino, then went to wait by the back door. Around 1.50 a.m., Max went to the front of the casino and met with a white male adult, after which they appeared to speak for several minutes. Then Max and the man were seen walking south across the parking lot parallel to Highway 101 until they passed out of the view of security cameras. This is the last location in time that Max Greenfield is known to have been seen. Investigators stated that the investigation started once they received the security footage. Investigators were able to identify and locate the man on surveillance video and bring him in for an interview. Investigators have had a number of interviews with him. The man who Max walked off with is seen re-entering the casino alone 18 minutes later. The man said he and Max went separate ways after leaving the casino. The man has yet to be publicly identified, but remains a person of interest. Max's cell phone was Wi-Fi only, so it had no data, so investigators could not track his movements after leaving the casino. They were able to find out that Max's phone never reconnected to the Wi-Fi after it disconnected from the casino's Wi-Fi. So the theory is that whatever happened to Max happened soon after leaving the casino. Investigators have also talked to the people who drove Max to the casino that night 
as well as the people they learned Max was supposed to meet up with that night. Investigators declined to name these people to protect the integrity of the case. Max is described as a white male, about 6 feet tall, and between 150 and 160 pounds, with brown hair and green eyes. He has a skeleton key tattooed on his left forearm. He was last seen wearing black jeans, a dark t-shirt, and a black jacket, as well as a dark knit stocking cap, and was carrying a black duffel bag. Investigators are asking for any information that might help locate Max. They asked members of the public to call 541-247-3242. So where is Max Greenfield? Is the man that Max is seen with on surveillance responsible for his disappearance? Was Max taken against his will, or did he simply just walk away? Please share this video so we can get Max's story out there and help bring him back home to his family. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn the notification bell on for new videos. Also, please visit the new Facebook page, Missing Persons and Top 5 National Park Disappearances.